association with code for the past year? Uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we're here again with code. It's always been a pleasure being here, representing them, being a part of their campaign. There's someone who really are out there reinventing cool, reinventing style, making it accessible for millions of people to enjoy. So it feels wonderful to be the face of this campaign. It feels really good to be associated with a brand that's changing fashion and adapting to fashion as it changes the world over. So I feel really, really proud to be part of it. Thank you. We are proud of having you here as well. Uh, I'd like to request uh, Srinivas to please share with us uh, a few words on our exciting journey with Farhan with Code by Lifestyle. Uh, thank you. Uh, on behalf of Lifestyle, uh, just wanted to convey we're absolutely thrilled and honored at this association. Uh, the brand has really grown from strength to strength. Uh, and uh, we believe that uh, the only way forward for us is to kind of really become a a major brand uh, that people really look forward to kind of take their trend inspirations from. Uh, really uh, uh, wanted to thank you from on behalf of Lifestyle. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, uh, Srinivas and Farhan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Code by Lifestyle has been growing every year at a phenomenal rate and has become the brand of choice for young, sharp, new age fast trackers who dress sharp. Today, Code by Lifestyle is unveiling its new mnemonic, Code two forward-looking arrows uh, signifying fast forward that connotes the very values that the brand embodies, the emotion, focus, always poised for action, brimming with energy. And who better than uh, Farhan himself to unveil this new mnemonic for us. So maybe please have uh, the magic pod. Uh, Farhan, you'll have to point that towards the LED wall uh, backstage right here. Thank you, Namish, Dheeraj, and Srinivas. And uh, Farhan, we have uh, created a small uh, corner for you with the Seasons Collection, uh, right on your right, with our new mnemonic. May I please request you to kindly...
सर आप सवाल पूछना चाहेंगे You're looking really cool yourself. Thank you. Uh, so just talking about the fashion, uh, 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 Farhan. Uh, talking about the dress sense, which is that dress sense, dress coding, uh, according to which you uh, consider a fashion good fashion or a bad fashion? Uh, you know, actually, there's in terms of good fashion and bad fashion, it's difficult to really say because I think eventually what looks good on a person is what they are happy and comfortable to wear. Um, so. there are things you may see other people wearing that maybe you would choose not to um, or something that you wear that somebody else may choose not to but the fact is when it's when there's a certain feeling and an emotion and a happiness that when you're dressed well or when you're feeling happy about what it is that you're wearing it evokes and that's when your clothing looks even better when you're feeling happy wearing it so uh, i don't know if there's any such thing i mean there of course are fashion faux pas you know of not mixing certain things together um certain colors that don't really at, at often work together so these things do exist but more often than not for any individual i think if they're happy wearing something and if they're comfortable in whatever they're wearing that to me is is good fashion for for that person so we have the second question from this sir i guess there's somebody wanted to ask a question so the mic is on uh farhan hi uh, personally are you uh, more comfortable in uh, formal wear or casual um i'm comfortable in both um the thing is i mean you can't really wear formal wear and roam around too often you know also the weather in mumbai doesn't allow it very very easily when we do travel to places where the weather is slightly more conducive to being layered and to to allow us to be i don't know stylistic in a different kind of way then i i love to do it but uh, in mumbai it's it's easier you want to wear clothes that suit the environment that you live in you know so today what you did see here as well you know the whole day party kind of dress code that they have that kind of stuff which is kind of light light colors easy to wear you know easier ties things like that that is something that always works in the kind of weather that we have which is pretty much more often than not hot and humid you know so depends on the weather hi farhan here The lifestyle is use brand. So, how much you brand conscious? Because already the lifestyle. So you'll have to speak a little bit more clearly. I can't understand. Lifestyle is use brand. You know, lifestyle. Yeah. So, how much you brand conscious for you? How much? You brand conscious because lifestyle all is a highlight for that. Can you say it without the mic? I think might be better. Uh, the lifestyle is use brand. So, how much you brand conscious? But in Hindi, maybe. So, how brand conscious am I? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, all of us enjoy good things, you know, in life. um and when we work hard you know towards it so when i do have an opportunity to associate with a brand like lifestyle and on code it always feels good because you know that there's a lot of people behind the scenes i mean we are just here representing a huge team of people who are working constantly you know to reinvent style um and to bring it out to people so we just represent them so i feel very happy to be doing that for people who work as hard as they do uh farhan uh, yo Okay. Oh, uh, what is your code of fashion? My code of fashion. Um, I I think what I answered on the first question really is something that I do believe. I I do believe being who you are is very important in in how you dress. Um, the minute I've always noticed this, if you try and fake something, you know, because somebody else has told you it would be cool to do, you know, uh, more often than not, it it has to inherently come from inside of you. Um, I do enjoy dressing up. when the opportunity does arise you know i do enjoy that so uh, given the fact that we have a wonderful association here with them with code you know i i look forward to taking this ahead and i i do enjoy it tremendously you know uh, dressing up so i i am pretty fashion conscious on that level yeah. uh so farhan uh yeah there's a new kind of trend in fashion these days uh, which is called rebellion 
particularly like uh, celebrities like uh, Rihanna and uh, Paris Hilton, they just come up to to the uh, fashion gatherings in in a in a kind of dresses which uh, few people just call very obscene. So, do you think that uh, they are fashionable? They can be called a fashionista, according to you? Well, uh, I mean, everything is, you know, and and to each their own. I don't think we can sit here in judgment on what somebody should wear or not wear. Um, everyone has their own idea, their own sensibility, aesthetic of what it is that they feel comfortable, how much skin they're comfortable showing, how much they want to be covered. Everyone has their own take. So I don't think it's fair for us to sit here and judge anyone, you know, for being obscene or not. Uh, the question is, would you wear it or would I wear it? When we have that opportunity, we'll decide, you know, whether we want to or we don't. But um, I, I can't sit here and pass judgment on whether it's obscene or not. Uh, hi, uh, Farhan, slightly away from fashion, uh, Rithik Roshan has got a legal notice for, you know, so we, we'll, the Pope we'll, we'll in one we'll of the... Slightly, request you to slightly please away from your question, I'll answer that some other time. Farhan, you have written a lot about your personal life. You have written a lot of peace, 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 a lot of peace. Sometimes your name is from Kalki, so sometimes... Sir, our personal question, you can't ask anything. Sir, please kindly refrain and please kindly restrict your question only to the events. Farhan, listen, Farhan, I mean, if there is anything... He knows Taekwondo, be careful. Yes, sir. If there is anything related to this event, then you can do it. But one last question right now, I guess, and that will be a wrap. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Srinivas and uh, Farhan. And well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll come to, uh, come to a close for this evening.